Collard helps in blood clotting. It contains vitamin K which plays a major role in blood clotting. Collard helps in weight loss. It's high in fiber which plays a good role in suppressing the urge to eat as it makes one to feel fuller for longer. Fiber also assists with bowel movement health. Collard contains a significant amount of folate and may help reduce the risk of depressive symptoms. Collard contains choline which may help to maintain the structure of cellular membrane and reduce chronic inflammation. Collard is effective in reducing the risk of colon cancer. Its fiber contain is an excellent source of fiber for intestinal bacterial and microbiota. Collard is a vegetable high in vitamin C. This vitamin helps to improve iron bioavailability. Collard greens provide vitamin A and vitamin C both of which are important to your immune system. Vitamin C helps keep your blood cells healthy and vitamin A is important for healthy T cells, a part of your immune system that attacks invading bacteria and viruses. Individuals taking blood thinner Coumadin should consult a healthcare practitioner before increasing their collard consumption as it has a high vitamin K content and it may interfere with the medication. Individuals with inflammatory bowel disease and other malabsorption disease must avoid collard because of its high contain of indigestible fiber. People who use blood thinners, such as Coumadin or Warfarin, should not suddenly increase or decrease their intake of foods containing vitamin K, as it plays a major role in blood clotting. It is recommended that one consumes one cup of boiled collard. This serving will contain 63 calories, protein, calcium, magnesium, protein, vitamins, and iron. In combination with other fresh vegetables, collard is recommended to eat every day. Its consumption in a vegetarian diet is very important to help the iron absorption. One cup of collard greens provides this much vitamin K several times over. A woman aged 19 to 30 years should consume 90 micrograms a day of vitamin K and a man of the same age should consume 120 micrograms.